Hello and welcome. If you're joining us today, then it is likely that you are feeling the planetary shift, for lack of a better word, uh, that things are really changing on the planet. We're being inspired and guided to offer this attunement to two symbols that I've been using in order to assist many of you in becoming coherent with the expansion of consciousness that you are likely undergoing at this time. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time going through a, a background information about us. We hope that you'll tune into our other YouTube videos and visit our website in order to gain more information about who we are. I would like, however, to take a moment and introduce you to my daughter, Sammy, if you uh, are, are unfamiliar with our work. This is Sammy. She is considered to be a non-speaking autistic. She is in true form, a multiverse being with a very different open and expanded consciousness to assist us in this transition. And we hope that you will open your hearts and take a look at the other autistics, what we would call autistic on the planet, and take a different look at them and, and their consciousness. They are very expanded beings, meaning that they came in with a very refined soul matrix from my perspective. And that's what makes them very energetically sensitive to other individuals around them, energy, that is in the form of emotions, mental body scripts that are really not in alignment with their soul essence. They're just very sensitive to everything around them, including the energy on the planet, um, and just, just overly sensitive as we would say that they're overly sensitive, but they're very refined soul beings here on the planet and receiving very refined cosmic information to bring to the planet. Let me just say that this video is in ma mainly three parts. It consists of a description about what symbols are and attunements are. Then the second part is the actual attunement. And then the third part is some guidance and exercises on how to use these symbols, how to activate them, and some ideas on how to use them just to get started. This short video is not intended to be a complete lesson on how to become an energy worker using symbols obviously but it's the main intention is to assist you in becoming coherent with the expansion that's happening to your consciousness if you're already an energy worker like a reiki practitioner or other type of energy modality you can use these symbols in your energy work but again this is not meant to be a lesson on becoming an energy worker yourself. So if you're ready, um, let's go into more information about what symbols are. Oh, and before, before we begin, I want you to ask yourself, is this in alignment with my soul evolution at this moment? Do you have some quiet space, at least an hour to integrate afterwards? Ideally, you can do the attunement when you go to bed at night so that you can sleep and integrate the energy into your physical beingness. So trust what feels right for you and return at a time when you can dedicate time to integrate. So if you receive an yes answer to continue, then let's continue to move forward. What are symbols? Symbols are a form of light language. Uh, speaking in tongues and toning 
geometries or matrices are also light language in taking on different expressions is probably the best way to say it. There are many people who write light language and tone uh, a symbol. However, is more like uh, capturing a field of energy and then is able to be passed on to another, another person. So we'll talk about it, attunements and what that means to pass on an, a light energy symbol to another person. Symbols have divine intelligence to them. They're very much alive. I started receiving symbols in the summer of about 2009 before I wasn't even awake and knew what was happening. And I continued to get symbols and I would write them down and draw them and use them. I'm a Reiki master myself. This attunement, however, is not a Reiki attunement. It's a very different attunement that my daughter and I have developed over the last four years or so. The what are attunements? It's a way of passing on this light code to another person. It, we engage your chakra system in order to, to do that. The practitioner does an attunement and it's like um, embedding the symbol right into the phys person's whole physical being. So even though I receive symbols and I can translate the light language and give them a name and a symbol or a symbol, I'll often also attune myself to the symbol because it allows for a much deeper activation. It, it becomes embedded right into the physical body of the person. Um, I'm checking my notes here. So if you see me looking sideways, it's because I'm checking my notes so that I can, I don't forget certain things. You may be able to partially activate a symbol. Mm -hmm. Like you see lots of Reiki symbols posted now uh, or Karuna Reiki symbols. Um, but in order to get a deeper activation, the attunement really, really is helpful. So Sammy and I have combined our masteries and we developed our own attunement method. She was passing on symbols to me, I think starting in 2011, or that's when I became aware of them. There are other symbols that I have received that um, came mainly through, through my consciousness. Um, so we've combined our multiverse accesses and we developed this attunement method now. And we use some of her symbols in this attunement. The, the, this attunement is being offered to you in order to assist humanity to make the transition into this next, next epoch of human evolution. So I want to just say that even if you don't use the symbols or you're not drawn to use them on a regular basis, just getting the attunement will assist in expanding your consciousness. And these two symbols that we're going to introduce are symbols to help you become coherent in your total beingness as you expand. So the way I have experienced it, and I, and I know that many others do as well, is that when we expand in consciousness, it feels like you get bigger, but then we also have to become coherent in all aspects of our being right now to the expansion that just took place. And so we expand and get co gain coherence, expand and gain coherence. If you try to just expand too quickly, then you can run out of energy. It can make you very incoherent. It can make you become very um, disheveled and uh, lots, there can be a lot of anxiety and you will not feel grounded. So 
this attunement is to help you also become coherent in your total field. So one of the things that we're seeing with this next evolutionary process is that we're being asked to hold the highest level of consciousness that we can in the physical body. We're not leaving the body, we're bringing it right into our physical beingness. And so when you feel tired, as you're expanding, as, as these new energies are coming in, and you are guided to, to rest or you wanna sleep more and lie, lie down, it's so that your body can integrate that energy. The body is the densest part of our consciousness. It's all consciousness. And so in order for the body to integrate it, uh, you need to rest. And that's why we ask you to have, take time to integrate this uh, attunement. And this is an introductory level attunement we can do different levels depending on the, the, the symbols and the other more refined energies that we use. But this is an introductory attunement. But because it is likely to be very different energies than you've ever experienced before, you may need to integrate um, for maybe 48 hours to 72 hours until you can feel completely are, or m much more uh, integrated and centered with the energy. Okay, so if you're now ready, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go into the attunement or I'm gonna introduce you to the symbols first actually. So this is a symbol that I received. It's one of the first ones came in in February of 2010 and I remember it very clearly because I was didn't even know what was happening at that time. And I remember waking up and right before I was opening my eyes, like it was like on a, on a blank sheet of paper, I saw this symbol being drawn and it was literally saying from the heavens, it comes down to man. So that bottom part is man, the arms and the legs. And um, I didn't really understand what was happening at the time, but now I do. Um, we gave it the name Choana, and it will assist in unifying all aspects of, our, of your being and our being as we continue to expand in awareness and our consciousness. Our, as soul beings, we are already multidimensional, and so there are various, various aspects of our consciousness that exist in the macrocosmic and the microcosmic levels. And so as you, as you expand, you be you're becoming more refined and we need to be coherent in our physical vessel as we expand and then and continue to expand. So uh, like it says, the symbol assists in bringing coherence to all aspects of our being. Um, this is a stone diva. She works with the crystalline matrices and minerals of the earth as do all the other uh, stone divas. I like to say that she followed me home from Mount Shasta. We were guided to take a trip to Mount Shasta in the fall of 2013 for the fall equinox. And if you've ever visited Mount Shasta, it's a very magical place. And what I experienced there is that there is a plethora, a huge amount of different elemental spirits and divas there. And so there were a few elemental spirits that I like to say that followed me home uh, from that trip. And Rowanna is one of them. She's really quite beautiful. Um, and she has, she's multicolored, but this is the symbol that I gave her to make her coherent and physical in this realm. So that's what happens when, when I give them a name, I give them a symbol, then it makes them uh, physical and it enables us to interact with them and it gives 
uh, and as more and more people use them, it gives us a common light language with other with other people who are using them as well. So since our bones, as you've probably read, since our bones are made of minerals, Roanna can assist with our very physical bone structure and skeletal system. And it, this is very important at this time. Again, when I, like I said before, we're being asked to hold it in our, the, the consciousness. Well, our consciousness is unifying with every physical aspect of our being. And the bones are the densest part and it gives us the structure to operate on this planet. The bones vibrate in unison with Gaia and all other life and matter on this planet. And so this expanded bone consciousness, let's say skeletal system consciousness requires that we clear the bone matrix, clear the skeletal structure, and also now come into alignment and in tune or attune with Gaia herself. So as we begin to vibrate differently and are able to vibrate with the planet, there will become more intrinsic knowing and understanding. And I like this from Norman Shealy. He is a trained medical doctor, but also an acupuncturist. Puncturist, and he says that our entire body is piezoelectric, similar to that quality in quartz crystal. So during uh, the last few days, as I w have been working with Roanna and activating her, that's one of the things that she informed me through her divine intelligence that she is, is that she will assist in engaging this piezoelectric system between the bones, because the bones are made of cells as well, and they're, they're alive, right? I mean, when you break a bone, how does a bone mend itself? It's because there's a cellular structure to them made from the minerals and crystals of the earth. So there's a piezoelectric effect, a system that connects with the rest of our bodies. Okay, so now if you're ready, we will do the actual attunement. So everybody just take a deep breath. And I'm just going to uh, I did a blessing before I actually started, but let's do a blessing out loud together. So in the name of the I am, I call forth all macrocosmic and macrocosmic aspects of my soul being. May this attunement be in alignment with each person's soul evolution. Drawing a grounding cord to the 12th chakra or the, your earth star, your personal earth star as well. Drawing a cord through the hollow line, the center of your head from the highest aspect of your beingness that is connected to God's source consciousness down through the center and into the earth star. Another cord energetic cord I'm going to go right through the under the arm and goes right through the chest and another one going in through the heart and out the back so three equal crossbars for stability Sammy is now going to engage your 15 chakra system and clear them and it do an initial clearing I don't want to clear it all because it might destabilize, destabilize some people, but just enough what is right for you today. 
Okay. Sammy said she came in on a 15 chakra system. And this is because we actually operate in a 15 dimensional universe and the chakras are access points to each of those dimensions. So our bodies are multidimensional because it is woven together from interdimensional, let's say connections from those dimensions. And also now engage the this is, symbol is called the breath of ether. It's going to lighten the energy a bit. It's connected to your earth star. Now put your hands together in prayer position. We're going to start the actual attunement. You can close your eyes if you want to. And we use some liquid light symbols in this attunement and that will, it might help feel like your aspects of you are dissolving inside or things are blending together like liquid inside. And we're anchoring it to the tailbone so you might feel your tailbone uh, engaging. This is one of Sammy's multidimensional symbols. I'm going to activate that and engage that into your earth star. Now place your hands at your level of your forehead like this and keep it there. I'm going to draw the symbols. This is Chowana. I'm going to go right through your hands and down the center of your body. This is Rowana. Again, keep your hands like this. Being drawn down into your, and also anchoring to your Earth Star. Open your hands this keep it like that I'm going to draw it into your hands Joanna Joanna Rowanna Rowanna to your hands you can also engage your feet chakras you might feel tingling in your hands and feet okay and it also into your hands and it brings balance and coherence in another way, okay? And actually, Timmy's engaging a star, a casahedron all around you. That will help expand the energy so that it doesn't feel so heavy and dense in your physical bodies. So that's the attunement. I'm gonna close your system now. This is say Ra and say Ru, Sammy symbols as well. I'm going to zip up your chakra system and place an energy around you. This is the Dyna shield around you to keep you feeling balanced and protected and coherent. And I uh, consecrated this space before I started the recording so that we're in the zero point field. Um, there's a field of protection all around us. So now this other symbol, Rashu, to hold the energy in balance. Just gonna make a note that everyone's experience with the attunement will be slightly different. Some people will see colors and hear sounds. Other people will see different geometries. Everyone's experience is a little different. You might feel heat sensations um, or coldness in different areas. So just go easy on yourself and there's no right or wrong in how you experience it. If you didn't feel anything, which I have uh, met people like that as well, 
or they may not uh, experience anything. But then when they lie down or in the next two or three days, they'll get this um, amplified energy surge. So just take note. If you want to stop the video here or pause it to integrate, that's uh, perfectly fine. Go with your intuition and your inner guidance. And when you come back, then we'll talk a bit about how to activate the symbols and how to play with them. So if you're back now, I'm going to do some quick lessons on how to use these symbols. You can activate, the, activate them by saying the name out loud. So you can say Chawana. And I know in Reiki, if you practice Reiki, you might recommend saying it three times. Chawana, Chawana, Chawana. And it deactivated into the zero point field. And you can deactivate it by just rubbing your hands together or breathe it in. And feel free to pause the video in between each spot here so that you have a chance to play with it on your own. Okay, you can draw the symbol in the air. I'm gonna draw Roanna in the air. See how that feels. You might see colors, waves of energy might be going through you or sounds throughout your body, okay? You can draw it on your hands, Joanna. You might draw the diff each one of them on, your, on different hands so that you can see how they feel. Play with it. Say the name in your mind. Tawana, this is helpful and handy for when you're out in the world and you're feeling out of balance or a little wobbly inside, you can say Chawana and Rowana in your mind and intend that they activate in your entire body. Because as you could see, they like uh, Rowana, the, the bottom part can be anchored to each foot. And so... Um, you might draw it really, you know, in your mind, draw it really big in your mind and uh, draw it. And then same thing with Chawana, you know, it's your entire body. And as you can play with it, then um, you can get good at it. You can also uh, activate them one at a time in each of your seven body chakras and see how that feels and just meditate with it. You can intend it to activate just in your throat chakra. Let's say you want to activate Chawana, you could say Chawana. And just with your intention, have her activate in your throat chakra or also Rowana and or, or draw it on your hand and place it on your throat or draw it right on your throat chakra, All right? And then tone. Ah, uh, a yo. You might try that, that nasal sound, uh, especially with Rowena. Say Rowena, 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 and go, that'll engage the, we have a sphenoid bone there uh, that separates the brain, that kind of holds the brain in the, in the head. Um, and you can get that to vibrate. Uh, and that will also engage the pituitary and the pineal that sits in that brain area. Okay. You can also, um, the, so like I said, the, the symbols are alive. They have divine intelligence. So if a symbol is not appropriate to be used at certain times, it will not activate. I've had that happen when I've done some body work sometimes and I'll be thinking, okay, which symbol should I use? Should I use a symbol? Um, sometimes I don't, I don't just use symbols. I do lots of other um, work and what I do. But um, I might think, okay, should I use a symbol? Which symbol? And then I'll think of one. 
and it won't actually even activate if it's not the right one to be used. So as you become more in tune with your intuition and in tune with these symbols, you'll get a better sense of when to use them or when not to use them, even different ideas about how to use them. Use your imagination and their guidance because I try it out. There's no right or wrong answer. These symbols can't. They won't. Um, they won't do any harm. You can't overuse symbols or any 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 modality of energy where you can get too much, and um, it can it can feel like then you're like uh, maybe had too much caffeine. So that might be one way of knowing that you've overdone it. Also be careful with your energetically sensitive children or other people who are energetically sensitive to not overuse them because they're, again, much more sensitive to energy. And I just used Rowana. Well, I was guided, had a little inspiration as I was putting Sammy in the bath and I was putting in some Epsom salt. And so quickly I just took some Epsom salt in my hand and I just said, Rowanna, mm -hmm. and I just put it in the bath and poured a little bit more, Rowanna. Okay, not, not activating it too much, but just a little bit so that it's in her bath water and the Epsom salt, they're kind of like crystalline structures uh, with the intention of uh, bringing mm, uh, calm and centeredness to her piezoelectric system. So that was one thing that I hadn't thought of before. You can activate the symbols one at a time in your hands and meditate with it. Or in the morning, if you're having your morning coffee and you want to activate it in the air or whatever feels right to you and sit with it. See how it feels. Let your mind go and allow yourself to feel the information that's coming through. All right, so we hope that this, these quick lessons are, or suggestions are helpful to get you started. Um, one last point is uh, you can activate the symbol really big, you know, like as big as your body, and then step into it. You know, what I like to do sometimes is just quickly activate it and you don't have to draw it out. Um, you can just say it and then step into it. Even as you're, as you're walking, you know, you activate each one and you're like walking into it. Um, so that's another way to engage the symbols. All right. Final thoughts. Again, give yourself some time to integrate and you can overdo any energy work uh, just like with this one. We also have a closed Facebook group, Susan and Sammy Symbols, that you can join to ask questions about these symbols or your experiences with them. We'd love to hear from you and how your experience has been or if you have generated ideas and you want to share how to use the symbols. And again, this is for serious people who really want to talk about uh, the symbols that we're offering. Uh, we don't want it to become overloaded and flooded with uh, extraneous posts. So uh, please respect the space and the intention of, of what the space is for. Okay, you can do the attunement as often as you want after you've integrated it. If it helps you to feel aligned, even again, even if you don't use the symbols, go right to the attunement portion and uh, just play that part as an energy process because it is like getting a quick uh, body work session if you want to use it that way. You can visit our website if you haven't already done so. Subscribe. We'll be offering starting uh, in the fall some private sessions and classes including individual and private attunements. Uh, we'll be putting up much more or many more symbols that uh, I've, I've have brought through and pretty much any image that I brought through I can turn it into a symbol and attune someone to it so we probably have over a hundred symbols 
uh, by now. They include uh, other divas, elemental spirits, dragons, cosmic dragons, uh, earth dragons, um, symbols from the diamond sun is what's coming through. And again, this is part of our mission and part of why we're here. We're here to assist humanity in this transition and these symbols are to assist in that process. One of the things that I also want to mention here uh, as a last point, as a final point, is that in your expansion, it's important to let, uh, to start allowing old concepts from the previous epoch to go. And the more I notice that the more I try to, if I try too hard to fit in new information to information that I've known from the past, they don't always jive well together. And so the symbols are a way of bringing in intuitive information so that we can continue to let old concepts fade. When the energy is running through your body, it becomes intrinsic you it's it's a knowing it's a knowingness from within so i encourage you to continue to uh, continue your process whatever work you're doing you might be working with joe dispenza or um who's the woman that does the, the work I can't think of her name right now but she's a beautiful woman um i know they do a lot of work with clearing mental body programs and emotional body programs I know Jim Self does that kind of work as well. Um, Susie Miller is another good person to work with who works with these very high vibrational autistics. I'm a awesomeism practitioner myself and a Reiki master. People like Marissa Leon, who is a speech pathologist and also works with many of these high vibrational masters as we uh, like to call them. We have other YouTube, in, YouTube um, videos, the Planetary Synthesis series from last, starting with last July, and um, if you have an energetically sensitive child, please check out the Facebook groups, Light of Autism and Autism Doorway to Consciousness, even if you don't have a child and you're interested now in this consciousness that is the autistic, or what we call, the quote, the autistic population, please um, visit them, visit uh, these Facebook groups as well. Okay, thank you for joining us and we hope that this will assist you in your expanding uh, awarenesses and your shift in consciousness. Thank you very much.